Welcome back everyone to the Space Engineers Hardcore Survival Series. If you've seen the last episode, you're probably thinking that this looks a little different. I have been pretty much spending all of my time upgrading this entire platform and every single part of it. So we've added three more wind turbines, loads more oxygen farms because I realised that two are basically useless on their own, and I believe we had two Gatling turrets in the last episode already, so I I think that, but we've also got this now, which is a vehicle. This is not quite what I had in mind. It's not the nicest looking thing in the world, but it it will serve its purpose perfectly, which is to get us down there and defend us because I'm going to be stripping these turrets off the base completely and I'm going to be putting them on this vehicle. Once again, we are out of hydrogen. Always going to be a problem, I feel but it's not really a problem, to be honest. And then we can just weld this thing up, and that's one down. Now we're gonna go over to the other side, and we're gonna put the other one on here. Gonna put this last one this side, and we do have the components to build it, excellent. And there we go. We have the two turrets. Now I'm gonna set these batteries to auto. Uh, I can do that now, actually. Do not target the uh, meteors, no meteors. And I'll set them to about a 200 meter radius so that they don't target too much. And there we go. There they are. Perfect. Two turrets. Now let's give this a nice repaint. What, what color should we paint? Should we give it the hazard armor? I feel like as we haven't used that in a survival, I think we should kind of give it that nice and orange. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. This, this looks cool. This looks cool. Look at this. It's, I mean, most of it's just orange, but on the on the light armor, I think that works quite well, actually. There's a nice blend of different kind of, yeah, that's that's good. Okay, now I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to pick up loads of components that the assembler has not been building for us. Okay, with 20 foot, what? We'll just forget that. Uh, well then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a bunch of steel plates then. I'm going to grab that many steel plates, as I just did. In fact, I might grab some interior plates as well, uh, just to make this a bit better. Let's put these back in here, put them back, them back, and let's just grab, let's put back 50 of these. Does that say a ton? A ton. One, st hang on, I've never seen that before. A ton. One steel plate weighs a ton. Or are they saying that 50 of them weigh a ton? Oh, I see. I was going to say... That would have been ridiculous. Anyway, we're going to hop back up here and we're going to head towards, finally, the new base. Or what is going to be the new base. So we need to be very careful while driving here. I'm going to turn the wheels up, actually, to uh, their best height. Oh, they are. Oh, no. Do not go in there. Okay. And we are rolling. We're going to roll over to this area here. Um, it is quite far away though, I have to say. That's good enough, I'd say. I'd say this is pretty good to build a base on. Maybe if we went a little bit further. Although we don't want to go too far, I'd say under two kilometers is perfect. Uh, doesn't really dip there, I think this will do. Okay, so I'm going to kind of level this so that it, it it's kind of, yeah, like that. Okay, I am aware that we are building this out of the that colour. I'm actually going to change that. We can always edit that later. So we're going to build the first kind of base uh, module thing here. And it's going to be rounded. And it's going to be like this. And this is just the floor, um, as you may or may not have been able to tell. Oh, there's a spider here. Please do not kill me. That would be very kind of you. Oh, wow. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No. Do not kill me. Do not kill me. Where? The turrets are useless. Well, we had a little incident there, but, you know, we're, we're completely fine. Uh, we have just enough hydrogen to get over here. That's fine. Um, that wasn't that wasn't so good. That wasn't really a show of power, was it? Against those spiders. So 
I think we're going to need more of these gravel turrets, and I think we're going to need more ammunition. So, yippee. Right, let's dump them in there, and let's just pull everything out of that. And I'll just carry on with what I was doing before, which was building out this area. I mean, once we get a floor, we'll probably be at a better level compared to these spiders, so they won't be able to attack us, really. Just get the kind of corner blocks going here. I'll hop up on here for a second, and I'll just build this out. So then we have this kind of platform. Uh, it's kind of going to... These modules, by the way, are going to kind of be in the shape of an igloo, if that makes sense. So they're going to be kind of... That's the plan here. And this is just the first module, and there's going to be several... Uh, on this base. No, I don't want to respawn just yet. What have I done wrong here? Alright, cool. That's done. The basic floor is done. So, where do we want the door? Well, it's... It, no. It's going to be... This is going to be a wall. Uh, this is going to be a wall. But this is going to be... One, one of the passages, passages goes down and leads to another uh, kind of area. And then... I think we could probably have windows here, actually, so uh, one by one, like that. I need girders. Kill that thing. Kill that thing. Gatling turret? Do you want to kill it? I don't understand. It's not doing anything. Let's just hop in that cockpit. Hopefully they don't flip us. And this, this Gatling turret on the left is just doing nothing. Okay, good. All right, they're dead. I'm going to leave the vehicle kind of over here so that it can, so that both turrets can kind of destroy any spiders that may spawn, like that one. Go down. Yeah, we got it. Okay, good. Yeah, so they, the turrets do work, but they, they're just a bit dodgy sometimes. All right, we're going to do the Minecraft style building here. That's how we build up at a higher level. And we're going to level this one layer further up, like this. Then we're going to do that, we're going to do that. Now the purpose of this survival, uh, the aim, my aim, is going to be to escape the planet. That's going to be the aim. I don't know if the series will end when I escape the planet or will carry on, but that's going to be the aim of the series, just to escape this horrible planet because, you know, for obvious reasons, <laughs> it's horrible. Hello? Oh, no, you buried yourself. Where's the vehicle? Where's the vehicle? Oh, it's over there. It blended in so perfectly with the smoke and everything that I just completely didn't see that. Well, hello. Uh, six motors. Excellent. Okay, that was not nice. I just suddenly turned around and it was there. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, there is a spider there. We want to avoid that if we can. Whoa. What happened there? Oh, it's because I left the ramp there. Once we've got this first module done, we can move everything to here anyway. And then we can just expand from there. So here we go. This is the first module, pretty much. It doesn't have a roof over it yet, but it will. Do not worry. And this is only going to be like the oxygen area anyway. They'll, I'll be living in another module somewhere with like all the fancy stuff. So nice. You are here. You are a nuisance. We're going to we're gonna sort this thing out. Right. Come around. Come around here. Spider. Hello. What are you doing? Come here. Hello? Spider? Uh, uh... Well, it's just kind of... It's just, just kind of stuck here, isn't it? Um, Not entirely sure what it's doing, but we'll just, we'll just leave that for now. We'll just back off. So what we need to do is get some conveyors going in here. So we're going to have the oxygen farms. Uh, they'll be on the roof kind of level. Yeah, they'll be on the roof level, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up like this, like here. And I'm going to start sloping this. And then we can get the corner blocks going here. And then this will go around, and I'm going to just grab the light armor corner like that. Perfect. Oh, oh no, no, don't flick me off the side. What are you doing? Perfect. Now, we'll have the windows in the corners, of course, um, but this is this is going pretty well. So, how are we going to do the oxygen farms? Because we're going to need quite a few. How am I going to layer them? Maybe. I mean, we don't have to have them inside or like on the roof, do we? We could have solar panels on the roof and we could... That spider's still there. 
but he doesn't seem to be much of a threat at the moment. If I do this, like this, perfect. Oh, it's going after me. It's going after me. It's kill it, kill it. I don't have any hydrogen to escape with. I'm just trying to take this out, but the, the turret, please. Oh, always a relief. Always a, re whoa, oh, hold up, hold up. What? That was amazingly close. I, I may have been saved by the spider then, just with the distraction. We're gonna just ignore that. We're gonna carry on with this. So I think that will probably be enough for now. Um, we won't do those conveyors yet, but we'll get these done. I actually think, honestly, we should make some kind of drill ship or something at this point, because we're also gonna need cobalt, which is a, which is a big problem. You know what? We're gonna build a drill rig, I think. I think I'm gonna build a drill rig and I'm gonna live on it until I can get this base working. So that's gonna be the aim. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get the conveyors going from these oxygen farms. So this is this is the middle one. So we're gonna grind this down and this will be connected to tanks of some kind. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this again and I'm gonna have probably four tanks here. Four oxygen tanks will probably be enough for this base and they'll just be for breathing, you know, just, just for the players. So with all of that done, I'm going to be ending this episode here. If you enjoyed this one, please do consider leaving a like as I really, really do appreciate it and consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. As I now upload tri-weekly, I have changed the hours. I went briefly to 9pm, uh, but I looked at a graph. I looked at a big graph and it said that most of you guys were active around 5pm uh, to about 8 or so. 5pm was kind of in the middle of that actually. Uh, so it was probably about 3pm to about 6pm you guys were the most active. So I've gone back to uploading at 5pm as I think it's the best time to engage with you guys. Uh, so yeah, so it's Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 5pm. Every, every week pretty much, unless I explicitly tell you that there won't be a video, but that's very rare because I actually schedule the uploads now, so every video will go up at exactly 9pm every time. Even if I forget to uh, mention it on the Discord server because I'm doing something, the video will always be up at 5pm on those days anyway. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. Consider joining the Discord server, the link is in the description below and is in every single one of my videos. It's the best way to communicate with me directly and, you know, give me feedback and suggestions on my videos. So thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.